Salman was a poor boy who had to live on streets of Mumbai. He did not like begging. Therefore, he did whatever he could to earn money so that he could buy some food for himself every day. He slept outside the railway station and soon made friends with the other orphans sleeping there. One day, the group of boys that Salman sat with were enjoying a piece of cake, a samosa, a sandwich, some biscuits and other snacks. Surprised to see such goodies in their hands, he asked them where they had got from. The boys told him that they made a group of three boys and went to search the empty train carriages in the night. Though. They usually did not find anything. If they were lucky, they might find a food packet like the one they were enjoying then or a bed sheet or something useful left behind by the passengers. But that would be stealing, said Salman. No, Salman, said Anand. Taking something that the others has left behind is not stealing. They might not want it, but you can use it. Salman spent the night thinking about what Anand has said. The next morning, he told his friends that he would also like to be a part of the search party. Almost two weeks later, it was Salman's turn to leave the search party in the train bogies. One of his partners was ill with fever and the other had gone to visit his cousins. So, Salman would have to search the empty carriages on his own. While going along the carriages, Salman saw a briefcase left behind on one of the upper berths. He took the briefcase. He ran his hand over the briefcase. It was an expensive leather briefcase. Nobody would leave such an expensive briefcase on purpose. Someone must have forgotten it, Salman thought. If I take the briefcase, it would be stealing. What should I do? After a lot of thought, he decided to hand it over to the station master. The station master knew him well and would help him to trace the owner of the briefcase. Salman took the briefcase to the station master's office. Mr. Malhotra, I found this briefcase in one of the empty carriages. Salman said, putting the briefcase on Mr. Malhotra's table. Salman then told him what had happened and asked him to take action. Mr. Malhotra smiled and patted Salman's back. You did the right thing, Salman. I shall take the briefcase to the police station 
and submit a missing report. Maybe they can locate the owner and give it to him. Saying this, Mr. Malhotra took the bag and Salman to the nearby police station. Just as luck would have it, the owner of the briefcase was also there to register a complaint. When he saw his missing briefcase in Mr. Malhotra's hand, he asked him how he had found the bag. Mr. Malhotra told him the entire story. The owner of the bag was so impressed with Salman's honesty that he decided to help him. He put him in a good school and paid for his education. Today, Salman is a grown-up man who has a job that pays him well. But he has not forgotten his days of poverty and makes it a point to visit the orphans staying outside the railway station once a week. He tries to help them in whatever way he can so that more and more children like him can get an education and live a better life. Let us talk about dancers. Today, we will be learning about Gerard. A Gerard is a form of a word that ends in the letters I-N-G. It has the force of both a noun and a word. For example, I like this sentence, the Gerard is reading. It is in a verb form. It is the object of the verb, which means that like a verb, it is an object. Therefore, it has the force of more than noun. The second example is, he is fond of holding money. In this sentence, the Gerard is holding. It is in a verb form. It is governed by a preposition just